they're off for the Univert champion hurdle of 2022. They get away on level terms, not so sleepy. Had a little bit of a think about it, as appreciate it. It leads them over the first, and he establishes himself two or three lengths clear with not so sleepy with the white face himself adopting a handy position. Tommy's Oscar in the green and red is racing freely in the chasing line. Rachel Blackmore, Pale Silks, Honeysuckle out wide. Uh, Zana here with the red cap is handy, racing just in advance of Epitant, the hoops with the white cap. Uh, Tia Hupuo, the black sleeve, settling towards midfield. Saurawa, the star on the cap, is among those held up with a Daggio in a striped sleeve jacket and glory and fortune in the sheepskin noseband is the early back marker making this lengthy gallop between flights one and two and it's appreciated and the white face not so sleepy who lead the uh, champion hurdle field early. Followed over the third by Zana here, and then from the rail across, Epertant, Tia Hupuo, Tommy's Oscar, and Honeysuckle circling them. Glory and Fortune continues to be held up with Adagio and Sawar as they take uh, rising ground on the run towards the fourth, the first of the flights over on the far side. Appreciate it, and Paul Townend. Leading the field, uh, no more than a swinging gallop. Uh, there's little more than seven or eight lengths covering them. Not so sleepy races a close second. Couple of lengths away to Zana here, the red cap, racing in third. And then Honeysuckle towards the far side, tracked there by Adagio. White faced Tommy's Oscar weighted within midfield. Epitant towards the near side of Tia Hupuo, the black sleeves. Glory and Fortune and Sawa, the final two, and they're all neatly enough over that. So they run steadily towards the halfway point. Uh, still very tightly grouped up. Appreciate it. Has company in front now, not so sleepy alongside. And Zana here is a very close third. Honeysuckle next with Epitant. And then Tia Hupuo, the white faced Tommy's Oscar from Adagio, the striped sleeves. And just a length and a half away to the nose banded Glory and Fortune, who is upside St. Wah. About to race across the top of the track, heading towards the fifth and it's appreciated, and the white face not so sleepy. To the wide racing, Zana here and Honeysuckle Blackmore sitting quietly. Epitant, white cap on the end, a good leap from the leader there, appreciated. Tia Hupero, ridden quietly, no more than four lengths off the leader, ahead of Adagio and Tommy's Oscar, and then Glory and Fortune, and just last is Samwa as they prepare to descend. Freewheeling now, they've got three left to jump in the Unibet champion hurdle. Appreciate it. Has made just about every inch so far. Not so sleepy at his quarters, and Zana here racing a very close third. Honeysuckle climbing all over them at this stage in fourth, and Epitant is up her in a right alongside. The mares stare each other in the eye as they bear down on the third last. Appreciate it, and Zana here landing first and second. Adagio made a bad mistake as we come a bit outpaced. Now Honeysuckle comes between horses, moving up threateningly. Epitant is on their heels as they close in on the second last, less than half a mile to go, and Honeysuckle is moving through to dispute it with Appreciated and Zana here. Three in a line as they make the final turn. Epitant in fourth, chasing being asked, and now Blackmore shakes up the mare, and Honeysuckle strides on. She bounds two lengths clear. Chased by Appreciated, the green sleeves, then Zana here. Epitant is running on under pressure. It's Honeysuckle down towards the last. Pursued by Epitant, two former winners. Honeysuckle, defending Ending a crown, lands a couple clear. Epitaunt untidy. Zana here in third, so was staying on fourth, but it's Honeysuckle in full bloom again. She stays on powerfully. Back to back wins in the Unibet champion hurdle. Honeysuckle again. Epitaunt chased her in vain. Zana here was third. And then Sawa, glory and fortune, not so sleepy and appreciate it. And her rider is, of course, Rachel Blackmore, a second champion hurdle on Honeysuckle, 15 straight unbeaten starts. And I think that reception you and she just got was what we owed you from last year, wasn't it? Uh, it, was, it was incredible, to be honest. Uh, walking back down that chute, I've never felt anything like that. There wasn't a, a moment's silence. Uh, it was incredible. The people here, you know, it's just an amazing crowd, an amazing atmosphere. Um, you know, I know it's easy to say that when you're winning, but like it's just it's a very special place and 
walking back in here to those cheers is just so special. And I think they appreciate her brilliance and her resilience, the way she finds a way to win. Talk me through this race. Yeah, look, she, she always finds a way. Uh, she really does. Um, I was kind of wider than I'd like everywhere. Um, wasn't maybe as happy halfway around, um, but I just slotted in, slotted in behind and, and, and we got our gap then. Um, but, oh, look, it was fantastic. Uh, so happy that Kenny Alexander is here as well. Like He's, he's a, a, a really good man and a class owner and I, I'm really glad he is getting cheered onto the, onto the podium now. And Honeysuckle just did a, a complete circuit of the paddock, got clapped and cheered all the way around. What does she mean to you? Ah, uh, she's she's just incredible. Like you know, jockeys, you know, dream of getting on good horses, but she takes that to a whole new level. Um, you know, she's she's special. She's once in a lifetime, and uh, I, I'm so lucky to be riding her. And the confidence she must have in her, that the way that she settles races with that turn of foot that she got, has. Yeah, like I, I, part of me was thinking, you know, I, I should be more nervous here before the race. Um, but I, I actually, I, I do have a lot of confidence, confidence in her, but it'd be weird if I didn't because she's never let me down and oh, she's just incredible. And like, you know, I don't know, you know, Henry gets her to the races every day and, and that's in the form he does. And, you know, that's an extremely uh, tough feat for, for anyone to train a horse or a mare to win all those races consecutively. So unbelievable. She is one of the greats, and um, now you are about to get your reception as well. And again, we owe you this too. Many congratulations, Thank you, Rachel. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is the reception that Kenny Alexander was denied last year when Honeysuckle won her first champion hurdle. You were here for her close brother's mare's hurdle yeah, success, yeah, but yeah, not last sure. year. What a reception! Oh, it's an amazing reception. I mean, I've been, I've missed a lot of her races for uh, the COVID and. You know, when I was working and all that, but I've been to see her all the races this year, and this was amazing. This was amazing. I was at Leopardstown Lepest, Fair House, then this one today, which is it's different class. And I, I, I must admit, my ball was crashing leading up to the race. I, I began to have real doubts. Uh, I went to see her on the, on the track at 6 a.m. this morning, and I saw David Casey with a big smile on his face and appreciate it. And I thought, uh, he's going to do me probably. Um, but we managed to, managed to do it. Rachel said before the race, she's going to ride the same as last year be positive, kick on, she kicked and it was hard work for her but yeah she got the job done and she, you know she's a fantastic, a fantastic ride and you know, a great train performance for Henry, he's, he's a great guy and he's a great trainer, great trainer. Run me through how you were feeling as the race was developing because Rachel has just said it didn't really go exactly how she would ideally have wanted. I haven't really spoken to her, I think she had a few sticky jumps, she seemed to be travelling alright then when she kicked and that acceleration. Yeah, I thought that. I thought she's going to. I thought that was it. And then uh, she just Epiton gave us a bit of a bit of a scare. Went over the last one up the straight, uh, up the hill. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know what my blood pressure is at the moment, but it's it's not going to be good. <laughs> and I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just. It's an amazing thrill. I've got so many friends and family here as well. My wife's here, which is a an added bonus this year. She's never been to Cheltenham before. So it was, it was great, it was great. Um, I'm a huge racing fan, I always have been. It's just a dream to own a horse like that. And uh, yeah, and now I've got another runner coming up. I know, tell me something, yeah. girl. Yeah, she's got a chance, she's got a chance. I'd say so. But it's a free roll now. <laughs> I've got one on Thursday, I just, this is the one that, you know, I, I want to win the other two, but really and truly, I don't really care really much now. I just want to, just want to go and have a good drink and enjoy myself, really. <laughs> you own one of the hurdling greats. Yeah, I do, I do, and I've been here, I just, Sat down there, stood down there and watched uh, Kavega, I've seen Apples Jade, Annie Power, fortunately Annie Power when she fell in that one year and there. Um, they're all greats and she's joined them. And yeah, I mean I don't think it's fair to compare them really, but she is she is one of the greats for sure now. And she's never beaten. She will be one day, but I'm just gonna enjoy today. And tell me, mentioning of blood pressure, tell me what <laughs> where, that trademark turn of foot that she has. What does what does that do to you as an owner? Well, it's a relief because if she didn't, if she didn't have it, she'd get chinned. But uh, no, that's what said. I mean, Rachel did say before. I said I was worried. I'd appreciate it, but she said no. I think I'm, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got more gears than appreciate it. So, she, and she was fortunate today. She was proved right, you know. And um, she's, she's an amazing jockey, Rachel. I mean, she's, uh, she's a lovely girl, lovely person. But she is a she's a nailed-on professional, born winner. She was a great ride today great ride today because all the pressure she made one mistake today you know 
you know, I just forget that yeah, she didn't. I can see all the emotion pulsing through you. Yeah, no, no, it's been, it's been a fantastic day. I'm glad so many people here with me to enjoy it. I think I made an arse of myself uh, after the last of my celebrations, but if you can't enjoy a day like this, then as you say, what was the point, you know? Somebody, one of your colleagues asked me if I was nervous before today, before the race, I said, yeah, well, if you don't get nervous today, why, when are you ever going to get nervous? You know, there's no point in owning them. I get nervous when they're running in Mickey Mouse races, but today was, yeah, it was, it was nerve wracking, but <laughs> I've got it, got the job done. <laughs> got the job done and I better go off and- uh, Yes, well, I wish you best much. of luck with the free roll yeah, and congratulations. Cheers.